Hello and welcome to this week's special presentation titled Midas Touch Goes Ballistic. My name is Steve Chappell, the Director of Trading Systems Development here at VectorVast and I'm delighted to bring you yet another, I think, fantastic trading system. Certainly one that's going to be found right at the top of the viewer with some very, very strong performance. So let's jump in and take a little bit of a further peek at this thing. So yes, brand new trading system going right into trading system viewer. So the template that you can work from right in the software itself all we got to do is follow it uh, and that will lead us to being successful okay let's go take a look and see what all the buzz has been about with the last trading system and also this new one so we debuted chapel's champs goes ballistic just a couple of weeks ago this is going to be a variation of that actually let's jump in take a peek all right so here we are in vector vest i'm going to go right up to the top to the viewers tab from the viewers tab make sure that you select trading system viewer there's big buttons here in the middle or over here on the left in your panel you can click trading system viewer there when you do it's going to take you to this page where you have trading systems laid out for you so these have all been put together by VectorVest staff and if you're looking for something that you can follow on a day in day out basis look no further than here and so right at the top the brand new system that we're putting in this week called Midas Touch Goes Ballistic. It's at the top because these systems are automatically ranked, at least when you initially come to the viewer, by one year percent price performance. And so 146% over the last year. I think a lot of us would feel pretty good uh, if we can get a fraction of that in, in some cases, right? But very, very strong, uh, even stronger than Chapel's Champs. And so I tried to, to, pr to produce something, hopefully, that over time uh, goes even better. And I know a lot of people have been super happy with Chapel's Champs over the last several months since they started using it after the Tampa 2 day where we first talked about it or when we released it back in April. Uh, lots of glowing emails, so very happy about that. This is a system that's certainly worth looking at. And so let's break down each of the columns, go more in depth about what they mean, and then break down the system so you really understand what we're dealing with here. Uh, so it's great to see the, the strong numbers and the performance. Uh, it's going to get a little better as we go across the, the grid here, but then we'll break it down for you. So Midas, Midas Touch goes ballistic. It's aggressive. So that's the first separator between the systems uh, that we've released here recently. And that, that is that this one is truly aggressive. And it's going to be aggressive in a variety of ways. And we'll discuss that as we go through. Uh, but this is geared for people who are more aggressive in nature or who want to take a smaller denomination of capital and put it to work in the stock market in an aggressive fashion. Uh, can really accomplish either one of those tasks. When we look at the market timing, it is going to be the same as Chapel's Champs. We're going to be using green light buyer RT kicker timing model. So we're only buying stocks on confirmed green lights and we are switching gears, closing our long campaigns, and going short on confirmed downs, and only on the issuance of the confirmed down. Uh, so that's an important point to make here as well. And so what are the performances across the board? So over the last one month, certainly on the back of today, where a lot of the pain has come from, uh, taking a little bit of a, of a lump here with some of the long positions that are currently in there, uh, coming in at minus 11, up 15 though over the last three months, predominantly having been long most of that time. Uh, and then also, uh, of course you saw the one year at 146. Pretty decent equity curve, I think you'd say there. Not quite as stellar as the more prudent system that you might expect that. So that's the nature of what we're dealing with here. So the higher percentages also typically go hand in hand with higher drawdowns. So you're not going to see a smooth and steadier performance, but more explosive when times are really good. When we look at the year to date, it is up 47, uh, nearly doubling Chapel's Champs, actually. When we look at the annualized rate of returns, here's where they really start to separate, given more time for these ex more explosive situations to really grab. Uh, so 552% annualized is certainly nothing to see, sneeze at. When we look at the one-year drawdown, this is the things that go hand in hand. So 
In order to get 500% annualized or even close, your drawdowns are going to increase. You know, um, what's real surprising about Chapel's Champs is that the drawdown isn't even higher than that. You know, that's, that's a incredible uh, low drawdown on Chapel's Champs goes ballistic um, to get 179% annualized, you know. So that's the quality of the systems. But 26, that's generally the neighborhood where that aggressive systems kind of fall into that 25% uh, drawdown range because that's how you get the hundreds of percent if that's what you're shooting for. Uh, okay, so with that, let's go ahead then and take a look at the trading system details. Come up here to the top. You just click that little button. you know, And when you get here, uh, it goes to a nice little longer period chart. Now, one of the things when I'm designing systems, I focus on the most recent several years. Uh, I get a lot of emails where people say, well, I take system, I go back 25 years and you know, back in 2004 and 2006 it didn't work all that well. Listen, key, the most recent couple of years are what matter the most. That's what's happening now, you know, and so trading systems do come in and out of favor and you want to go with the ones that are hot now. Yeah, that's the that's the deal. Okay. They're hot for a reason. The types of stocks that the strategies are picking are ripe for the current market conditions. So that's that's one thing to get at. Clean, clear the air there a little bit, I guess. When we get into the uh, trading system statistics here, you get a little bit further breakdown. One month, three month, six month, year to date, one year, three year. The numbers are very eye-popping. Uh, so year to date, it is up 46%, which is really good considering what the market has done this year. When you look at the last year into one calendar year, it's 145%. Uh, three years, 1,257. Of course, all time, 1,889 at this point. So falling a bit below our 1,900%, uh, but uh, pretty close. <laughs> all right. So with that, uh, we look at the co current holdings that are within here. Yep, they're getting worse throughout the day, I'm afraid. Uh, saw a bit better mix in here earlier as a matter of fact uh, but they are fairly resilient compared to what a lot of the stocks in the stock market are doing today uh, but avd these stocks taking it on the chin now we've been in them for a little while you can see purchase dates ranging all the way back to 526 okay so it's not like we the trading system bought stocks here recently i guess the most recent addition being on 68 and that's a petroleum stock, so still doing pretty well. So with that out of the way, let's jump right up here to the top, go to trading system rules. And when we get there, this is really going to be the important stuff because what it's going to detail for you is that just like we saw recently, it picked up petroleum stock again. It's going to be dealing with buying stocks from the Midas Touch strategy. Midas touch stocks are stocks that have been strong for the last three months. And so you're going to find a lot of energy, a lot of mineral, a lot of tankers and shipping and things that have really been the only strong, consistently strong anyway, areas of the stock market. Uh, so just kind of want to reiterate that. Uh, and then on the short side, so we're going along with those kinds of hot three month uh, stocks when a confirmed green light occurs in the price column of the color guard okay and we are not purchasing anything unless that is the condition okay so just quickly if i go over to the home page we're talking about these gold green lights with the on the current date will be blinking gold stars or historically we leave that imprint there of the black gold of the black star that you can see okay so these are the kinds of uh, days where we would have had the opportunity to either buy a, an initial basket of five or pick up a replacement uh, but only under those conditions okay and then if we go back over to here for now uh, we sell short on the confirmed down and we sell five positions and we manage those in both sides long and short with 50 gains 15 losses so whichever happens first or signal change uh, and when i say signal change i mean from up to down 
or down to the first up. I don't mean from up to neutral to up. <laughs> Under the neutral condition, you take no action. You just let your stops rule the roost. They're going to, you know, th there's no repurchasing of stocks. You only sell stocks if they hit their stop loss. Okay. So what this does is it gets us buying stocks off of market bottoms after the market has gone up enough to earn that confirmed green light. That's when you launch a campaign. And then you only repurchase stocks that you, that you've, when you sell something, if there is another green light kicker uh, at the close, you can buy stocks the following day. Okay. And that's it. Those, those, you know, sometimes you get several of those in a row, of course. Right. So we'll talk more about that. But when you get to a confirmed down, you close down all of those long positions that are left. In some cases, it may not even be a full basket anymore. Right. And you go short. Uh, you can see we're doing five stock baskets. That also makes this aggressive. So we have bigger drawdowns. We have fewer stocks. You know, all of these kinds of things lend itself more towards an aggressive stance on this trading system. Uh, there are a couple of things that yeah, I don't want to belabor, just quickly mention, but this is an important setting when using this timing model. Uh, it says when entering this situation, close any position that was opened in a different situation. So this would be the different situation being these are situation cards, okay? So the only other situation that we're buying, that we're doing something in is the down and we're selling short with ballistic new highs, right? So this means when a green light is signaled, that's confirmed, and we get an up, we close any short positions out that are in there. But we don't close anything long. So sometimes you have a confirmed green light, then a yellow light, then another confirmed green light. You're only buying on the back of the confirmed green lights. On yellows or greens that are not confirmed, you're not buying stocks the following day. Okay. So I want to make that very clear. All right. Now, best to depict that on the market timing chart. So I'm going to go right up here to the top, go to the timing tab from that, the market timing graph. And we'll just look at maybe the last six months here or so. Because if I come to the bottom and put on the GLB RT kicker, come over here to the right and make sure that we're on the GLB RT kicker layout, these two things work nicely hand in hand. Okay. GLB RT kicker. What we'll notice is when the markets sour up, we're going to be short and then eventually we're going to get a green light. And that's confirmed. And when we do, we can look to start purchasing stocks. And generally speaking, the market is going to be low, at least certainly in comparison to where you've been, right? And then we, we would continue to pick up stocks or could on the back of any of these confirmed green lights. Now also notice like with this green light here, it was really for two consecutive days. You see that green shaded area going up and down the chart? That means there was back-to-back -back confirmed green lights there. Okay. Now, when the market starts falling and falls enough, we'll get a confirmed down. We would close our long campaign and go short. Right. Then we would close the short campaign down if there were any stocks left that hadn't hit the 50 gain or 15 loss and buy stocks again. Uh, start by buying five here on the first green light. Had opportunity for several days to, if we sell something, continue to buy more. Once you hit a neutral, you stop buying, you let your stops rule the roost, and so on, etc. across this chart. And so if you look back over time, of course, this means we're going to be doing the preponderance of our buying low when the markets are just beginning to emerge. Right? And then we're going to be slowing down with our amount of buying. You see the preponderance of green lights Confirm green lights here and then here, really slowing down in numbers, aren't they? So we begin kind of weeding out some positions in many cases before the confirmed down call even hits. Then when the confirmed down call hits, we go short and then we re repeat that process over and over again. So hopefully that lays it out uh, about as cleanly as I can. The other thing I would say is that's better in some instances than doing 
uh, just green light buyer itself. Now this does depend on the kinds of stocks that you're going after. Uh, but just to kind of emphasize that point, if I go to green light buyer itself, you'll notice that you had a confirm down here followed by a green light where if we were using this timing model, we may have decided to exit the short positions, go long and really cut our short positions way too short uh, and not make as much money as certainly could have been made here. Uh, so the nature of the confirmed green light compared to the traditional green light is as follows. So if I go back to the GLB RT kicker, how did that green light over here disappear? Well, if you look below, the, the moving averages on relative timing were bearish. And so that would not have confirmed that green light. So these triangles are now only situations in which the short-term moving average is above the longer-term moving average, thus adding even more credence to the green light being displayed, more momentum, if you will. Okay, so that's the magic here, is it eliminates some of the ones that may be a bit too early, if you're not careful, and it eliminates the ones that may be a bit too late, if you're not careful, and really focuses on the preponderance of green lights uh, still well near the lows in, in most instances, just to eliminate a little bit of that risk. So hopefully all of that makes sense to you. That's as best as I can describe it uh, in this video. So uh, let's jump right then over to what kinds of stocks that we're going to be dealing with. If I come up here to the top and go to Unisearch, and we said on the long side, we'll be looking at Midas Touch, but Midas Touch percent price change. Midas Touch percent price change. So this variety of Midas Touch stock is a bit more on the aggressive side of things versus something like a Midas Touch VST, for example, uh, where you're factoring in it uh, maybe a bit more of the fundamental value uh, of the stocks. Here, just mostly technical in terms of I want good high momentum that's exploding. Uh, that's what this strategy is really looking for. And so prices, yep, they're going to have to at least be above a dollar here, uh, which of course is good, uh, and 100,000 average volume, so some general liquidity, but the real magic is the sort. And so, oops, if we run this current, you know, not the best of days today to be sure, but there are still a few stocks trying to eke out some gains. But as you can see, you know, nothing to uh, write home about. So let's go back a little bit, I guess. Let's go to GLB RT kicker here. I mean, let's just go to March the 22nd, okay? We'll run it then. And so these would be these would be the stocks as of March 22nd, 2022. So if I just graph them up here quick, and we go back to March the 22nd. So let me zoom in here a bit. And over here on the right, we're going to have to go to our Midas Touch layout. And then let's get precise to that date. So I'm going to come to the bottom. Go to March the 22nd. And then make sure we've got three months. So I could have done this a little bit more cleanly on the calendar, but look at that. Nailed it. Okay. So what makes this a potential buy in this trading system? The Midas Touch works as follows. Just the Midas touch itself, then we'll talk about the special sort as the, as the kind of the kicker here. <laughs> All right, so we're, we have two moving averages up here on price. This is actually in the price portion of the chart, I should say. This is actually on the stop price. So we have a 10 and a 65. And what we're looking for are stocks where the 10-day moving average of stop price and the 65-day moving average of stop price are both hitting new highs. So that gives you some of that high momentum where stocks are performing well uh, on a consistent basis over the last three months. Right? On the bottom, a little bit more reassurance of that actually by nature of a 40-day moving average on relative timing. Okay, Now all of this is just put on your chart by clicking on the Midas Touch layout. And these are generally really good stocks to be looking at just in general, guys. Even if you're cherry picking or doing whatever, it's a great place to start. 
Um, but that's how they're picked. Also, I would say the relative timing not only has to be hitting the three month high, but needs to be above one, right? As a kind of further confirmation that we're really truly heading the right direction here, right? Um, so all three indicators hitting three month highs and RT also above one. All right, so with that, certainly this one would have qualified. This one as well. And look at the price charts. Generally speaking, good solid upward moves. You know, nothing's perfect. You're not going to eliminate stocks that are noisy altogether, but it does a really good job of that. Uh, the other thing it's doing is giving us those stocks pointed the right direction, certainly. Okay. So with that, how would these have worked out over the next several days? Dink, 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 dink. You know, it there was definitely some opportunity here. And yeah, I think we would have gotten uh, some really nice performance. If we look at this one, remember we started these on the 22nd. So this one took a little while to get cooking. Let's take it out a little. Oh my goodness, look at that. That would have hit a gain. How about, look at Ampy. Ampy's taken off there, right? A little bit of volatility, but going the right way. That's what we want. And so I'm getting pretty far away from where we started. <laughs> this one made a pretty good move uh, before it go inside. So that, that should hopefully give you the nature of what we're trying to explain and that we're going after that. I, I really want to keep coming back to high momentum stock that's really making nice three-month movements in the stock market. And then on top of that, going with the ones that meet all the criteria we explained, but they're having the biggest price moves on the day that we buy them. So that's the percent price change part. So you can see they're rank ordered here on this date by the strongest movers uh, from that day. We would look to buy those stocks the next day. Okay. Then manage them with that 50-15. And I think you can see from the charts, that's how it works out so well. All right. So with that, we also then have the short side. And this is not for the faint of heart. This strategy here, we'll just run it current just to give you an idea of what you can deal with. This strategy actually made a bunch of money with things like boil, uh, which was peaking at the time that you would have shorted it. You know, situations like that, it almost seems like it's the last thing you want to do, but it ends up being a good decision. For example, we got this stock today, uh, Rise Education. Now, listen, we're not on a confirmed down, right? So the system is not going to be shorting these stocks today. The best time to have gone short was back in April or before that back in November. Uh, but these are the kinds of stocks that it's going to uh, favor when the next confirmed down call comes into play. So I just want to give you a picture of what you're dealing with. And if we graph them just quickly, they're going to be stocks that are exploding in price. Now that might be a buyout there, uh, but you know, stocks that are hitting new highs, this one looks like it's getting a little toppy. That's what it's trying to find. You know, are these stocks that are really hitting high water marks that are due for at least enough of a and often substantially fast, you know, very quick drop uh, over the next sometimes just several sessions? You know, they can they can get towards your towards your target there pretty quickly. Uh, and so that's what we're dealing with. Of course, oil, you know. I'm not, not so sure I'm willing to bet that oil is going to have an imminent collapse or anything, but it certainly could have some pretty sharp uh, corrections here from time to time. And, um, you know, that's kind of where a lot of those picks were being pointed currently. So it's interesting. Now, remember, this system is not telling you to do that. And I think that's actually a good thing right now. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd be willing to stick my toe into that one. Uh, but that's that's what it feels like when you do some of these. And um, uh, I wanted to try to convey that message. That's what's worked so well is going with these high momentum, big price movers on the upside and then these overcooked stocks on the on the downside when the market really turns sour. And that's the key when the market first really turns sour. I mean, that truly is the key. That's the beauty of the system. You know, it's not telling us to go short right now. Okay, so with all that, probably spent maybe a little more time here detailing things than 
Um, I really need to, but I, I always like to try to make sure to the best of my ability, people understand what they're getting into so that when we come over here and show you these results, you know, you know how you're getting there. So I'm going to go to back tester here quick here. You're going to see some just eye popping results, right? Uh, the other thing that hopefully sticks out to you from time to time, there's some fairly substantial pullback and we might be in the midst of some of that right now, which anytime there's been some substantial pullback, what does the days and weeks following that look like? You know, pretty good. So maybe we're getting ready to have a nice little reset on our next leg up uh, in this trading system here in the not too distant future. But my goodness, uh, month after month, year after year, for the most part, continues to go higher and higher and higher. All right, so with all that, I think uh, you know the smartest thing to do is show you how you can set this up to either follow it, paper trade it for a little while, even if it's just in VectorVest, or get ready to turn it loose on the next confirmed green light. Uh, we can't go short again until after the next confirmed up, so that could be a while. Uh, but there still could be good opportunity uh, on the long side here from time to time with the Midas Touch stocks because they're going to be dealing with stocks that are in good moves in a rising market okay so let's go over here and uh, at the very top of the trading system viewer that's going to be the best place to start all you've got to do is either click a paper trade in portfolios or b if you're somebody who is fortunate enough to have robotrader which you can link to a brokerage uh, it is an additional purchase at vectorvest you can call us up we'll talk to you about it in either case you can get the directions you need to place some trades. So if I click on paper trade and portfolios, you can follow it fresh or you can follow it as it currently stands. So with the five positions that are currently in there and see where that takes you uh, and then where the next tranche of, of uh, long positions take you and so on, or you can start fresh. Hey, listen, I just want to know what to do when the time is right. So uh, I'll show you both. So we'll follow. In portfolio manager open it now this will give you the five positions that are in there it's off about three percent today just to give you some idea there makes sense right markets down big so considering it's not doing all that bad <laughs> but if I go back over to uh, back tester here oops I'm sorry trading system viewer see even we get a little turned around if we're not careful uh, so we'll go to viewers, trading system viewer, come here to the top. If I click paper trade again, I can then choose start empty. And if we start empty, we'll call this paper trade. You know, I can customize my commissions. Let's say we're a dollar, whatever, right? Open the portfolio now. It'll tell us. Are there five stocks to buy today or not? So if I look up here in the top right where the genius is, you can see a spinning yellow indicator there. That means you're neutral. So if you hover your cursor over it, it actually says it. There's no actions today. We're neutral. So you're not going to get five stocks to buy until after a confirmed up or not a confirmed, a confirmed green light uh, is issued in the price column of the color guard. Okay, so it'll just continue to sit here and spin on all these yellow, reds, or even greens that aren't confirmed until you get a confirmed green. But that's all you would have to do is just either check, come in here and check this daily, or if you go to the top and you go to application settings, you can also get the alerts sent to you. So you'd want to make sure that at least that top one is selected. Then you can put in either a, just click on a row there. You can select either an email or a text message to a cell phone. And we have all the carriers and so on. So you just literally put your number in there. And it'll get them sent to you. So pretty cool. It's like having a coach right on your phone, <laughs> which is awesome. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap things up uh, for this week. But super excited to get a couple of brand new trading systems in over the past several months and looking to really do so every time my uh, time comes back around here in VectorVest. Going to be working on some long only. Also uh, really dig into some, uh, e you know, probably Contra and ETF type 
systems here over the next several months as well and see if we can't really breathe a lot of new life into that trading system viewer. We're starting to do a pretty good job of it now. So we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time here at VectorVest University. See you then.